Yo, what is going on? This is your boy, That Guy Face with Face the Music Media. We are back again for another episode of How I Sin. In this video, we got another one. Korg's Monopoly. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. So, Korg just dropped their version 3 of their classic collections, and if you haven't already, check out my other video covering the Poly 6. So I like Korg's plugins, man. They got some good stuff, man. The filters are a little bit steppy, but you know, I can get past that because they sound really good. So, anyway, let's get into it. So, the Mono Poly, it's a little different from the Poly 6. The Poly 6 only has one oscillator. The Mono Poly has four oscillators. So you can go in and detune them, pitch them up however you need to, and make some really big, nice, rich sounds with this plugin. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. We got our oscillators here. Over here, as you can see, we have transpose, detune, time, portamento. And what this detune is, is to offset the pitch of each oscillator without you having to come over here and say, all right, let's go ahead and offset these one by one. You could still do that if you want just one to be offset. You can just go in and, you know, uh, offset it or whatever. But um, if you want to offset them all at the same time, you will come over here to this tune function, right? Next, you have your pulse width modulation section here. It's literally just for the pulse width modulation. We have more modulation here, just standard modulation where you can route things out to different controls on the synth. You have your cross modulation, and then you have your frequency modulation. Over here, you have modulation generator one and two, and these will control the speed and shape of the modulation for MG1 and MG2. You have an arpeggiator here, have your effects section here. Here we have a filter. Now, unlike Poly 6, the Mono Poly actually has an envelope generator for both the filter and for the amplitude. So we got a noise level here, your range blend, and then you got your output. Then down here we have, you know, the browser section. We have the key assign mode if you want to go into unison mode, chord mode, original mode. Then you have your voices, so if you go into unison modes, you can detune those, spread them out. This analog basically creates a bit of a drift in the control, so it makes it more analog-esque where everything isn't the exact same. Like the oscillators will slightly drift in and out of pitch. So that's what that is for, and then you have your master volume. Let's go ahead and jump into it, man. First off, I like to test out the saw waves and then detune them to get that natural phase where it sounds like pulse with modulation. Like I said before, on this synth, all you have to do is use the tune and it's gonna do that for you. So it's gonna offset the tune. So let's go ahead and take a listen. First, let's go over here to initialize program, default, turn down the volume some. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the detune so you guys can hear the difference. So let's go ahead and listen. Nice. Sounds nice and gritty. Let's go ahead and mess with the filter and see what it sounds like with that filter. As you can hear, it's kind of steppy with this synth and the other Korg synths. Uh, I don't know if that's true to the original. I'm not sure. I've never used a mono poly, so I'm not sure. But it is kind of steppy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and route these controls to my controller, and I'm going to see if that kind of helps with the steppiness. It, it usually does. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit Command-M, touch the control. Oh, all right, Command-M. All right. So now let's take a, a listen and see.
nice. So it still is a little steppy, but it sounds really good. So I'm not mad at that. So I'm going to go ahead and change these oscillators over to pulse width modulation. And let's just go ahead and get some real pulse width modulation. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the intensity and the width. And then I'm going to adjust the speed. As you can see here, it's set to MG1. That's the source. So the changes that we make here will affect the pulse width modulation. So. Uh, I got a chord progression that I played in the background. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mess with the filter envelope and the amplitude envelope a little bit and go ahead and really form this sound out. So um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and take it to about three o'clock. See here. Take that down. Release up. Just release. All right, let's take a listen. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some effects to it. So I'm going to come over here. Let's see what that ensemble sounds like. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw some reverb on that. And I'm gonna go with the wet plate. Let's see what we got. Beautiful. I love that sound. But anyway, man, 
that's the end of this video. Let me know what you think about Mono Poly. It sounds really good. The steppy filters kind of make it tough, but um, you know, like I said, they sound good enough to where I'm not too mad at that. So, you know, I would recommend you go get it. It's on sale. It's only 49 right now. If you have any of the other Korg plugins already, you can get the whole collection for 99. So, you know, I would say go ahead and go grab them. I think the synth is great. The mono poly I think is better than the poly six as far as functionality. You got more options, you got more oscillators, you got more envelopes. Um, and another thing that I'm not really that big of a fan of with the Korg poly six and the mono poly is the modulation section. The modulation section is a little difficult. It's not as straightforward as some of the other ones, you know, so anyway but hey let me know what you guys think leave a comment below have you fooled with these since before let me know your thoughts again this is that guy face for face to music media we out of here Hey.